Alright, what is going on guys? This is your boy the Death Smasher and welcome back to another Bleach Brave Souls video and today I am going to be live reacting to the Can't Fail Your Own World Round 8 trailer and we will also take a look at the actual characters, stats, and skills. That being said, before I began watching the video, I did kind of peek at uh, Shuhei and he's going to be an SP character. So I'm like, okay, that's good because... Honestly, I didn't want Shuhei to be a PvP character, and it would be too damn early for that. Oh, and by the way, um, right now, I'm with a temporary chair because my chair is pretty much gone now. Like, it's been leaking out some oil, and it's been fucking up my floor, so yeah. I already ordered a new one, which will arrive in two weeks' time, but yeah. Anyways, let's just go ahead and watch the trailer. There we go, classic Canfair on World background. There we go, there's like his... Alright, let's see. Aura and Hikone has to have to be in this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is savage! There we go, new Hikone! Holy shit, what the fuck? Yo! No! What the fuck? There we go, there's Aura. This is it! This is the final Camp Your Own World banner. No more characters after this. Bro, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is that encoding? Yo! I'm sorry about that. But. <laughs> I'm sorry, that reminded me too much of Full Bring Mugetsu, if I'm being honest. Alright. <laughs> okay, alright. <laughs> My boy Okiora is getting an epic grade. Oh, we got a, we got the birthday calendar updated? I'll take a look into that later because I don't really feel like doing so. Okay. Um, yeah, we know Byakuya is coming back. More importantly, let's take a look at Okiwara's epic raid. Shuhei, I already know he's a hard Yo, directly in, in his Segunda Etapa, that is gonna be so fucking awesome. Okay, what are the bonus characters? Okay, so for tech, we've got, uh, Lincoln and First Battle Eisen. Okay, uh, okay, I can use Kenpachi just fine. Power is Hikone and Kain, oh my god. Heart is uh, Shuhei and Orihime. These bonuses are kind of bad. Okay, they brought back Ichibei, which is a good bonus. Sajin is bad. Oh, and they made Aura mine character, all right. And they brought back Tenses and Gets, which is okay. I don't think he's the greatest character in the game, but he's a good pick in my honest opinion. And these are the times 1.5 bonuses. Okay, Askin's a bonus in here, so that's good if you don't have uh, Kenpachi. And, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go too deep on this one, so, yeah. Alright, now let's just go ahead and take a look at everything the game has to offer. Alright. Oh, and by the way, keep in mind that uh, the resurrected Hikone, he did not have his own illustration in the actual novel, from apparently from what I've heard. So, this is completely... Brand new scene in game, so I don't know if it's game original, but oh well. Let's just go ahead and take a look. Can't fail on World Round A characters are here. Oh, okay. Oh, and they directly show the individual banners as well. Okay, that's that's good to see. So Aura's banner features Fierce Battle Kampachi, Ginrei, uh Kakao Society, Tsukishima. Gin and the Mind Tsukishima. Alright. Hikone features Fierce Battle Ichigo, White Ichigo, Kakao Society Byakuya, and Ginjo. Shuhei, on the other hand, features Fierce Battle Aizen, Hachigen, Kakao Society White Ichigo, and Ruruka. Alright, that's nice. So, for like Hikone and uh, Shuhei, I'm actually missing two characters. Yo, actually, on every individual banner, I'm missing two characters. Alright, now let's go ahead and take a look at the main banners. Alright, here we go. Shuhei Hisage is a melee strong attack character with the Aronka Killer ability. All of his attacks have a chance to inflict weaken, combined with his Frenzy, Havoc, and 5 second debilitator skills. This makes him capable of weakening enemies over a wide area. His special move also has a debuff effect oh, okay, that's actually nice, that lowers the abilities of nearby enemies for a short time, allowing Shuhei to quickly finish a fight. He can also unlock Nullify Melee Resistance 100%. Wait, he, he, is he a ranged character? Wait. 
Oh my god, so he's gonna have a type of Marauder, but it's it doesn't include guard break. And he's in Rocker Killer? Yo, that that is nice. That is really fucking nice. So there we go. There's another character that we can use for extreme co-op just fine. So yeah. Hikone Ubuginu. Hikone is a ranged strong attack character with the Soul Reaper Killer ability. Then we have out <laughs> Hikone is power. And they make him a Soul Reaper Killer. And he's an SP character. He should have been a, a flurry character, in my personal opinion. But anyways, let's take a look at everything else. Okay, he can inflict weakening on everything, combined with his Frenzy, Havoc's 5 second debilitator, and Sprinter plus 2 skills. Okay. And he can also unlock increased status element chance against Technique Soul Reaper Killer. Okay, so okay, so he's gonna be a power Soul Reaper Killer, and he's gonna have the same thing that Basby has. But it doesn't look like he is going to have the extra 40% damage to uh, weakened enemies. Alright. I mean, you know, it, it, it's still good. I'm not gonna complain. Or as a ranged strong attack character with the no affiliation killer ability. Okay, she's got no affiliation killer. But let me see her kit. I want to see her kit first of all. That being said, we have too many no affiliation killers for mind, in my opinion. All of her attacks have a chance to inflict weaken. Her unlockable skills include Frenzy, Havoc, 5 Second Debilitator, and Guard Break. Okay, and her strong attack is a crawl. Why did you have to give her a crawling vortex? You know what? Wait. Oh, okay, she's got weakening. Please let her first strong attack be a beam move and let her have a third strong attack that is like either 1,175 radius or 1,200 radius. That's all I'm asking, Caleb. And the fillers. Yeah, they brought back the spir the 2018 Spirit Society characters. I just pulled Rukia, and this entire filler list is garbage, in my honest eyes. Okay, Hero is not garbage, because she's actually a pretty damn good character herself. Like, you can still use her in epic raids. Tensa's bad. Kayan's trash. Or he makes just a link. Udi is actually good, in my opinion. And then Yama, it's like... Whatever, well, I guess it is what it is. Same step up rate. Okay, let's take a look at everything else. Okay, Shuhei is at, has 806 SP. Alright. Aronker, Killer, Strong Attack, Research, Time is 12%. Okay, Bruiser, 20%. Berserker, 20%. Frenzy, Havoc, 20%. Devastation, 40%. Debilitator, Bullet, Sprinter, and Nullify Melee Resistance. Ikone, uh, Power, Soul Reaper, Killer, Strong Attack, Research, Time minus 12. Yeah, okay, yeah, he doesn't have a... Uh, the extra damage to weaken enemies, but does have this uh, special disabler, so he's gonna be able to inflict weakening a bit more often towards tech enemies, which is nice. Okay, no long shred. I mean, oh well. I mean, long shred has been dead for the get from the get go, but yeah. All right, there's aura. All right. Okay, so that is the actual main characters. But now, we need to take a look at what's on paper. So, let's see, because everything else is hype. It's hype. But the kit is what is actually going to determine whether the characters are good or not. So, let's take a look at them. Shuhei Hisage, here's his quote. I didn't come here to kill you. I came here to stop you. Strong attack re Okay, yeah, we already know everything else. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, melee, res melee collision. Alright, that's good. First strong attack. Okay, that's... Okay, that's a lunge. Okay, that's that's good. All right. Okay, second strong attack. Is that? Ah, they had to give him a suction vortex, but you know what? It for what Shuhei has, it fucking works. It helps inflict the weakening a lot more. So you know what? I take it. I'm not gonna complain. It's better than having a shield move, in my personal opinion. And then his third strong attack is a thousand two hundred radius. Okay, so who's Shuhei is a really damn good character. He really is. But I would have preferred if he had Holo Killer instead of a Ronker Killer. Just because of the simple fact that we have not gotten a Holo Killer since Mugetsu. So, yeah, it's been that long. Okay, let's take a look at Hikone. I was instructed to slaughter all of you right away. Alright, that's his quote right there. Kit. Ranged, alright. Okay, he does have a B move on his first. Okay, that's nice. Second strong attack.
Yeah, they gave him the same exact fucking vortex that St. Nosuke ha has, but at least... At least he still has a good first strong attack. Now his third. 1170. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. That's actually good. I'm not gonna complain about that. Like, even though they gave him a shit second strong attack, his kit for the most part is good. Now Aura. They gave her a bad killer, but I'm not gonna let that sway me and see if she's the shaft of the banner. So let's take a look. I am nothing more than a humble servant of the god that rules death. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Alright. Uh, okay. Okay, well, I mean, the ad is range collision, it's to be expected. Of course. Of fucking course. You had to give her... You had to give her a fucking range collision strong. And now that I think about... Ch yeah. Yeah. Okay, that, that's bad. That's bad. That's, that's honest to God. That's honest to God fucking bad. That's really fucking bad. Vortex 20 hits. Wait. Don't tell me that's a fucking plant vortex. Please tell me this is a cro- Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just- Oh, my bad. Wrong way out. Okay. Okay, it's a crawling vortex, alright, but- They still shafted her. I'm sorry, but like, why did you have to give her a fucking crawling vortex on top of having range collision? Like, what the actual fuck? At least she has a third- a good third strong attack. Why the fuck are you shafting all of these novel exclusive characters, Caleb? Like, okay, at least- at least Hikone is good. It's fucking good, but like... What the- what- what the actual fuck? I'm honestly disappointed. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I had to completely interrupt my video as I was about to end it because, well, I was busy with some other stuff that needed to be done, so yeah. Now, let me just go ahead and give you guys the conclusion of my overall personal opinion about the actual characters. Shuhei, easily the best in Banner, and even though he's got the exact same identical kit as um, the Cant Fairy on World Shinsui, he's still a pretty good character for an Aronker killer. I do think that he's better than Senju Maru, since that was the last heart Aronker killer that we have, and he even has half a Marauder, meaning that he can actually nullify melee resistance but not have guard break. But it's cool because at the end of the day, he also has a Ronker killer and is a melee character, meaning that he will not have to worry about enemies that have melee guard because Oronkers don't even have that. Only against Soul Reapers, Hollows, and no affiliation enemies, and that's just about it. Like, he's got nothing to worry about at all. And then Hikone, I'm gonna be honest here, he wasn't really needed. Not at all, because we already have Spirit Society Byakuya, we have Canfair and Road Shinji that fill the needs of having a Power Soul Reaper killer. And this Hikone is basically a replacement only if you don't have either um, Spirit Society Byakuya or Bankai Shinji. That's just my overall opinion because Hikone's good. The only benefit of the doubt that I will actually give him is the fact that he has weakening. But other than that, He's an A-plus character, or not even an A-plus character. I would just say a regular A character, because he just doesn't have the best second strong attack. But he does have a great first and third strong attack. And Aura, honestly speaking, she's honestly... I'd actually have to say the second worst Can't Fair on World character that we've gotten, in, that is SP-based. Like, close to Can't Fair on World Samadhi. And the thing about it is that... We have so many mind no affiliation killers in the game that completely outdo her. Like, the best one is still Spirit Society Rengeku. Following after her is Canfair and Road Lupi. And then after him, Tsukishima and then Aura. How do you fuck up a character? Bruh, Aura is literally Thousand Year Blower Aizen with the Havoc. But with a bad killer. That, that's all there is to it. Just that there is the small simple fact that Aura does not have the charge third strong attack. So yeah, that's basically my overall opinion of these Canfair on World characters. I am going to summon on the main banner and then from there see how to go about it. But yeah, honestly speaking guys, only Shuhei's worth going after. That's just my overall opinion. Maybe summon on Hikone's individual banner 
if you want him, because he's still a good character. Shuhei is amazing. Or it's just bad. That's just my overall opinion. And this this banner that has all three characters is also pretty bad. Like only two of these uh, premium characters are good. Most of the Spirit Society characters is pretty much outdated, with the exception of Grimjo, even though he does have no affiliation killer, but still has a good kit. Gein's outdated. Rukia's is outdated. It's just that eh, this banner is not the best. I'm gonna be honest. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, lads.